Hello everyone, welcome to this demonstration on deploying WSO2 API Manager in Kubernetes. WSO2 API Manager is a fully open source, complete solution for creating, publishing and managing all the aspects of an API and its lifecycle, and is ready for scalable deployments. Kubernetes is an open source container orchestration solution for managing containerized application designed by Google. First, we're going to deploy four pods, one with WSO2 API Manager and another pod with API, uh, WSO2 API Manager with Analytics and another pod for database. Finally, we're going to deploy a sample backend service called Hello Kubernetes developed by Ballerina, which will respond Hello Kubernetes when invoking. Ballerina is a cloud native program language. This will be the outline for the demo. First, uh, we're going to create a Kubernetes cluster and a single file not server in JCloud. After that, we're going to deploy WSO2 API Manager and Analytics. After creating API Manager and Analytics, we're going to deploy in Nginx Ingress controllers. After deploying ingresses, we're going to access the management consoles such as Tor and the publisher. Finally, we're going to deploy a sample backend service. After that, we're going to create an API and an application. At the end of the demo, I'll show you how to invoke an API. Okay, these are the prerequisites. I have already installed all the prerequisites. In order to use WSO2 Kubernetes resources, you should have an WSO2 active subscription. If not, you can sign up for free trial subscription. Okay, first part of the demo will be creating a Kubernetes cluster in gcloud. Let's go and create the Kubernetes cluster. Go to gcloud console. And then click Kubernetes engine. Click on create cluster and then give a unique name for the cluster and a zone. Number of node will be 3. Machine type will be 4 V CPUs. Go to additional features. Under security section, click on enable basic authentication. And then create. While it's creating, I'll show how to create a single file not server in gcloud. Go to gcloud marketplace and then search for single file not server. Select the project and a zone and then click deploy. Go to gcloud console and go to computer engine. Click on VM instance. Under the VM instance you can see your server. Let's go and SSH it. We need to set up a single file not server to persist data and to share them all over the nodes. All the resources for the, this demo will be available in this git repo. I'm following these steps. As you can see, all the information and the resources will be in this repo. Now let's create a system group named WSO2 with group ID 802. I have already created it and then let's create a system user account name WSO2 carbon with the user ID 802 and add the WSO2 carbon to the group WSO2. I 
I have already done that too. After that, we should create unique directories for API manager and for database. After that, we have to grant ownership to the WSO2 Carbon for the APM directory. And then grant read write execute permission to WSO2 user for the each created directories. That's it on the NFS. Let's exit from it. Okay, as we can see, we have successfully created the cluster. Let's go and connect it. Copy this command and paste it in your terminal. Let's go and update the API persistent volume YAML and database persistent volume YAML with the IP address of the server and the path for the directories. To get the IP address of the server, go to gcloud console and then copy the internal IP. I have already copy pasted it and then provide the path for the database. Do the same to the APIM. Copy the IP and then update the path. Now let's go to the terminal. I'm going to deploy uh, all the Kubernetes artifacts for WSO2 API manager by executing deploy SH script. Give your WSO2 username, password, and then uh, cluster admin passes password as a uh, arguments. I have already export all the password and the username. To get the cluster admin password, go to gcloud. And then go to the cluster. Click on show credential and then copy the password. And paste it here. We have successfully created a namespace called WSO2. All the deployments will be under WSO2 namespace. And then I'm going to use config mac for configuration and I have attached them to the container. And then I'm going to use the config mac maps in the startup too. And we have successfully deployed persistent volumes and volume claims. In order to use persistent volume, we need to create persistent claims, which is simply a request for some storage. We're going to use volume mount to share data in repository deployment server. We have successfully deployed WS2 API manager database and then persistent volumes and volumes claim for it and then the deployment and then after that we have successfully deployed WS2 API manager artifacts deployment and the service after that we have deployed all the ingresses we, I have deployed two ingresses one for WS2 API and another one for the gateway now let's go and deploy nginx ingress Give the cluster admin password 
I'm going to use the ingressers to access our service from outside from the cluster. Let's check the status of the pod. Database and the analytics pod are in, in running state. API manager is not in still not still in the ready state. Let's check the ingresses. Add the host as an inventory in etc host file. Copy this IP address. Now let's check the status of the pod. Now APM also running. Let's access the management consoles. Login as admin admin. Now let's go and create an API. I'm going to use REST API to create an API. First, it will obtain a consumer key and a secret and it will be encoded. After that, it will generate the access token. At the end, it will create an API with the image. Let's have a look. We have successfully created an API. Now let's go and create an application for the API. Even to create an application, I'm going to use REST APIs. Obtain the consumer key and the secret. And the consumer key and the secret will be encoded. After that, it will generate the access token. At the end, it will create an application and it will generate keys for the application. We have successfully created an application with one subscription. Now let's go and deploy our backend service. First it will create the service and then it will create the deployment of the service. Let's check the status of the service. Service name will be Kubernetes Hello V1 and the port will be 9090. Let's check the pod. As you can see, we have successfully created the pod and it's in the, in the running state. Now we should uh, invoke an API. For that, we should generate a token. Now let's go and invoke the API. Add the token here. As you can see, we have successfully invoked the API. As we have already deployed analytics, let's look on analytics.
as you can see we can generate graphs and all that's it on deploying ws2 api manager in kubernetes thank you